Good afternoon everyone again and welcome back to my channel for another uh, handbag review today. Uh, I'm gonna say this every time but one of my favorite bags. <laughs> I feel like I say this all the time. Um, but today as the title suggests we're gonna be doing a review of the Celine belt bag in the mini size which is one of the first size if not the first size that came out and before they um, launched smaller sizes uh, like the Nano and I believe the micro, I'm not entirely sure, but this is like the only size that was available at the time of purchase. Um, so, ta da! Here it is. It looks really bulky. Um, the reason for this is because I stuffed this up, this little fella quite a lot. So, I'm just gonna remove all the stuffing and show you guys. So, I literally use all the clothes, no kidding, to stuff it because I didn't have any of the um, plastic stuff or bubble wrap that they give like I lost it or I left it back home in France I believe I'm not sure receipts crap 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 more crap some purchases that I did um yeah it's quite messy I left some naked bars in there <laughs> and some coins and this is just gonna empty it completely so I can show you guys the interior and how it looks like okay so I bought this one in December 2016, so it's uh, almost three years now since the time of purchase. I'm gonna put the price um, that I purchased it at the time of purchase and what the price is right now uh, on the market, both in Australian dollars and in euros as I always do. Um, and I'm just gonna show you guys very quickly. Um, I love this bag ever since it came out and of course 2016, Phoebe's collection, old logo and all that stuff. But one of my friends at uni had this bag and what I didn't like was her belt here were completely bended like like that like all the time and she was like yeah don't buy this bag like you know it's it's crap and I said oh yeah, yeah it's kind of annoying to have this thing being all the time but to be honest I tried this and um, I just absolutely fell in love with it and as you can see three years and my straps are not really bended so I'm gonna tell you my secret and how I store it to make sure that these little strappies stay where they're supposed to be so without further ado a little close up here it is in the pebble leather top skin this is with the gold logo and the gold hardware as you can see with the little you know Oh, how I love old Celine's collection. This is the flap when I open it. The little claps that a lot of people complain about. It is kind of annoying sometimes to close it, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is the color grey in Gris Souris, uh, which is, seems to be one of my favorite colors at Celine because my Nano is also in this color. I love grey bags, I'm not gonna lie. Like Some people just swear by black bags, I swear by grey bags, seriously. Um, and at the back here, you have this roomy flap, usually you put my phone um, and you have some feet now. As you can see, it's been three years and I never removed the plastics. This was done intentionally because this bag, I put it on the floor and I thought at least if I keep the plastic until they're just gone, then it will preserve my feet from being completely ruined. So I left it there. Um, this is how it looks. I'm just going to close it. Oh yeah, and the inside. The inside you have two small flaps. Put some receipts in there, which are in the like textured leather, and then you have the suede leather all the way around. So as you can see, it is super roomy. Like holy crap, you can fit a lot. <laughs> it's got a zip that I never ever close. <laughs> never. Maybe I should. <laughs> but I normally just close the, the flap here. So this is how the bag looks like when it's closed. Yay! There you go. I absolutely love this bag. And to be honest, it's probably too big. I like to pack my. Like, um, it's probably too big for what I carry like on a daily basis, as in one of my essentials. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you in a moment what I put in there. But before that, I wanna show you what I purchased a couple of months back, specifically for this bag. Um, this is one of Dior's new. Um, Tweeties, <laughs> if I should say. Um, yeah, they did like an alphabet collection, and I bought this one with the M. 
obviously. <laughs> and I think it's so pretty. So just to show you guys, it's 100% silk. And I just love the color with my letter. And I thought, look, it is so beautiful. Like pink and gray. And this gray here, I thought fits perfectly the bag's gray. So what I plan to do is to use it here. So just to show you really roughly, guys, what it's going to look like. But I thought this would be the perfect color. Um, what do you think? I thought this was the perfect match. But anyway, just a little side note here. So that's why I kept this one um, inside the bag because I knew that I wanted to use it. I've used this bag. Just the last one here. This one there. I just love this. I've used this bag uh, a lot. Uh, probably one of my most used ones. Ever since I bought it, I stuffed it, maybe a bit too much. So that's why now I keep it really stuffy to make sure that it keeps the shape because I feel like sometimes I overstuffed it and it kind of lost the shape on the sides here. But I've really, really used this bag a lot and I love the look of it. I love the quality of it, price point compared to... This is probably the same price as my extra mini Chanel, you know? So, but it's so much bigger, it's all leather. It's really, really durable. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly what I carry every day. So as usual, my long wallet, my keys, hand cream sometimes, winter's coming, sunglasses, it's still sunny out here, um, and a lip balm. Sometimes I carry my uh, bag perfume, I couldn't find it, I think I lost it. Um, and my card holder, my phone, here on the bed. And that's it. That's usually I don't need any more than this. And to be honest, I'm gonna show you. It's so empty. So empty. Can still fit more. But because there's a lot of material and everything, it is quite heavy already. So if you don't wanna, I know you can fit a lot, and I know that we all tend to overfill our bags. But if you don't need anything else, don't put anything else because it's so heavy. Yes, it's half empty, but it's so damn heavy. Like you don't wanna be carrying much more than you need so this is about what i need here and that's enough for me and i don't want to carry more because it's just too heavy for me anyway and i know that you can carry it like this but i normally carry it on my shoulders and this is already quite heavy so i don't need anything else i'm not gonna put anything else so my secret to how to keep the belt straight is to the way i store my bags is Tonina has given us um a dust bag every time we buy something. I don't have it with me here actually. I use like a tote bag but what I normally do is I take my Celine um, dust bag. So this is how I do it when I'm back home in France and I <laughs> I reverse it. I'm not, I'm not sure how to explain this uh, but okay I'm just gonna take another bag to show you guys because literally like I don't know how to explain this. So this is a Saint Laurent dust bag. But you know how normally you put your bag inside, right? I do like this and I cover, oh, this is big enough to show you, I cover like, like so. So this one is a bit too small for my Celine, but this is how I do it. So from the top and then the open side will be in the bottom. So I cover my bag from the dust still, but I don't need to tuck the belts in, in the dust bag, if that makes sense. And what I do is this is the only bag that I normally put either like on the shelf or somewhere where the belts can actually be hanging so that I don't need to sit it like this. So if the table is there, then I'll just be hanging the belts purposely so that they're not hanging. And this is how I store this bag ever since I got it and I never had the problem of the bended straps. So if you don't want the straps to be bended or if you don't want them even you know in this direction just put your dust bag upside down so that the open is from the bottom so you don't need to tuck the belts in and what I would recommend to do like I said is to uh, put it on a shelf or a low like coffee table and you know let the belts hanging so that you're sure that actually you know you're not gonna have like some awkward um, shapes with your belts so yeah 
that's my little tip here. Um, as usual, I'm gonna put all the details of the of the bag in the description box below, and I'm gonna do some modeling shots and show you guys how it looks on my frame and how I normally carry it. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you liked the video, and yeah, thumbs up if you liked it, subs if you loved it. And any question, as always, just let me know. You can leave a comment and I will make sure that I answer to you. See you!